box uh, electronic goodies here that I got from Banggood and eventually I'm going to put a video on on all this stuff what I want to put a video on about today is one item that come in there is called a Peltier disc this is a 40 by 40 millimeter it runs on 12 volts these are pretty neat items. Purpose of these Peltier discs is if you put electricity to it, one side's going to get hot, the other side's going to get cold. And for anybody that doesn't know, I'm going to quick demonstrate it. Ultimately, what I'm going to use this for is a little experiment. All right, to demonstrate this uh, effect on this disc, I got a heat sink here that I'll be using this in the experiment today. And we're going to set this disc on top of it. The hot side will be down. I have a temp probe hooked up to my multimeter. And what I want to attempt to do here is I got a 12 volt motorcycle battery sitting here. I'm going to hook this up and I'm going to take some tissue paper and hold it over that and see how cool we can get that and how fast it cools. Alright, I'm going to hook it up. Watch that drop. Why it's warming back up is I don't have a very high heat sink in here so what it's doing is coming back up up through if I had a larger heat sink you'd get it a lot colder like right now this heat sink is still sitting at 98 degrees I'm gonna flip it over actually we're just gonna run it in reverse I'm gonna flip my leads around on the battery I'll show you how rapidly this thing heats up I want to go too much don't want to burn this one up yet I got more coming so anyways that's what happens when you punch electricity through it but you saw that instantaneous 170 degrees now there's another effect these discs have that I'm more interested in for this specific video is they're able to produce electricity so what I'm going to do is light a tea candle we're going to take that disc I'm going to put the heat sink on it try to hold all this on there right now and watch that voltage Right there's about a half a volt. I got some air current in here blowing this candle away. If you get enough heat generating from below and pulling away through a heat sink, you can get up to right roughly between 1.4 volts and possibly up to 2. How it works the opposite effect, say if you turned it over. Uh, minus so that's a pretty cool effect with these they're not real efficient but my whole purpose on this video is to see if I can take a LED emitter and run power to it to produce quite a bit more light than just a candle oh yeah Packer scored you're ahead of the line now the problem with using this to uh, pull heat off and light an LED is there's really it really takes about three volts even to light this little emitter like from Radio Shack now you can get a three volt LED to light using that but you have to use what is called the jewel thief make one or get a booster somehow you're gonna up your voltage but lower your current right here is pretty much the exact same style emitter as this one from Radio Shack but this has a jewel thief on it and what this came out of was this little two dollar double 2AA pen light I got from China. Just to demonstrate what I'm talking about, here's a one and a half volt rechargeable battery and I got a broken turbo. There. As you can see there, it will not light up. Take that same battery and hook it up to this light with the booster on it or Jewel Thief. There you go. Basically anything that takes a single AA battery to light an LED has one of them jewel thieves or a booster in it such as this little single AA phone charger and I could rob that out and use it what I think I'm gonna do is take one of these apart again said I think I bought a bunch of these for two dollars from Hong Kong or China and use this out of it I want to make sure this does actually work got one and a half volts going in it's gonna work As you can see there definitely will work so that's a start now one thing though i'm gonna have to try to solder a red wire in the middle and then a black wire on the outside all right 
I got her soldered up. For now, what I'm going to do is poke it back down this flashlight tube to protect it. And I might end up cutting this tube right here, make a good holder for it. They like said this is more, a lot more cost effective than outright buying a jewel thief or a converter. Pick these flashlights up for super cheap in China for little to nothing. A couple bucks. Blows me away. I don't even know how they can ship them. One thing I should have did was throwing that spring back in there, but that'll work for now. I ended up putting that spring back in and the cap on this. I'm going to test it out and make sure it's going to work, actually. With a 1AA battery, and it works. Good. All right, time for the initial test. Got a candle glowing here. And I'm not going to hook a heat sink up to this healthier disc. Got it wired into this light. I'm going to hold this over the flame. Look at that. Pretty neat. Well, that works. Now I want to make something that will run for hours with the heat of that candle. And we'll measure the light output. It's actually quite bright. Pretty neat. All right, to start it out, I'm going to make something simple here to mount that above that candle. It doesn't have to be too extravagant. I'll just take and draw this dead center. Cut it. gloves on but you're in the house and I'm macho. Actually I went and got my gloves. Safety is number one priority. I'll file this little piece down the middle here. Flashlight's cut down, and I'm going to add some other goodies in, a little bit longer through the rod. The key to getting good heat transfer from Peltier disc to heat sink is thermal grease. We're going to smear a little bit of that on and get it put on there. Find out which way I want it to go. But I'm going to use my fingers. You don't need a lot of it. You don't want to have too little. Looks good. Well, that should work for that part. Use a little blob of half hard plasti dip for the insulator. You know what? Now, can I get that thing in there? No. I gotta take my tape off and redo that part. Oh, smart. Ok, 
Okay, I think we're ready to test fire this thing. Get this cleaned up. What I want to do is I'm going to lower this down. I already know I'll need it lower. Get a good angle here and we're going to fire it up. Probably have to uh, move that down even closer. Maybe not. It's giving off some decent light. Pretty instantaneous too, huh? Almost free energy. Suppose if you burnt some wood or something underneath, it would be free. Look at that guy. Working good. That's a lot of light output. Alright, what I did now is I added a little simple spring to help hold that heat sink. And I put some nuts and washers up top to sturdy this thing up. Alright, what I'm going to use is my lux meter. We're going to put this on record for the max amount of lux coming out of that. And I'm going to position this candle, let's say about 7 inches away from the table. And here we go. Alright, we're looking at 3.4 lux at 7 inches with the candle. Slide the old spotlight up. Look at that. 25.1 from the same distance. And that's 360 degrees around. That's over seven times the light output of that candle. Now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to slide that cap away. See if that makes a difference. Not much, if any. Now, if you notice here, if I were to move this up to the ceiling, look at how much light that thing's punching off. Looking straight down on it. want to do is we're going to do a lux test of the candle within about an inch or so away. Sixty nine point three lux. Now I'm going to move that up to the, there. Two hundred eight lux. Now if I were to take that lux meter we're going to go up just above that. It's about two inches above that thing. Look at this. Fifty six hundred and fifty lux. Let me do it with my fucking phone. I want to calculate, but can't find my phone. Just had that there. I don't remember if that was sixty two on the candle or not, but if it was, we're talking over ninety two times as bright. What the hell? wicked. Pretty cool. I could probably get it brighter if I move it closer to it, but I'm happy. Well, I can see that works quite well with the uh, $2 single AA flashlight or one like this. You can pick them up on eBay for under $2 from China and about $4 from the United States. Thermal paste, very cheap, easy to get. I've had that, so I didn't even have to purchase that. And of course, tea candles. And the main thing, Peltier disc. 40 by 40 millimeter. I do believe I paid about two and a half dollars for that. And it works quite well. Kind of impressed with it. Not much, uh, too bad at messing around. And I've left this thing on for hours and hours just the way it's set. If a person wanted to, you could run this higher if you're worried about a candle or whatever. Open up a little can of tomato paste or something, throw the candle in that and have it setting right under it. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. 
Now to upgrade it. Stay tuned.